The last video in the series ended with us installing the secondary mid-tier. Now installing the primary mid-tier is going to seem like deja vu all over again. But this is a very easy and a very quick installation. Before you begin, install the primary mid-tier on its own host. The small deployment strongly recommends a separate mid-tier to boost performance. Install Oracle 64-bit JRE version 1.7 on the target host. Again, don't use 1.8. BMC does not support it. Optionally, you can disable the secondary mid-tier on the cloud portal and database host. I just don't like unnecessary processes running if I don't need them, so that's why I turn it off. As you can see, the mid-tier product is loaded in the currently installing tree. You will notice that the Atrium Core Web Registry Components and BMC Server Automation Application Server are also loaded. Theoretically, we could install all three products concurrently, but to keep me from being confused from too much multitasking, we're going to install one product at a time. Click Next to continue. Based upon our install best practices, take a VM snapshot of the target host and then click Next. Review the default mid-tier installation directory and then click Next. Review the default JRE directory for 1.7 JRE and then click Next. Now we're going to configure the mid-tier to use the Air System server we just installed. Click Add and enter the host name of the Air System server and tab over and enter the password. Click Next to continue. Review the Tomcat information to install the Tomcat servlet and then click Next. Review the Tomcat installation directory and then click Next. Review the Tomcat configuration parameters. Review the preference home page and DV DVM server information. Review the installation preview and then click install. It takes about five to ten minutes to perform the mid-tier installation. If you see a recommendation about CPU clock speed on your VM, you can safely ignore this warning. It's benign. Click Next to continue. And there we are. We've successfully installed our second CLM product. In the installation summary panel, review the installation log, and then click Done to finish the installation. In the next video, we're going to install Atrium Core Web Registry Components. Thank you for watching.